appreciate it. You guys, uh, you can keep talking now. Don't worry about it. No, it's, it's wonderful to be here. I would like to thank the IICF. Um, you know, I love New York. Who doesn't love New York? Especially this time of year. Um, you know, being back in New York has brought back so many wonderful memories, especially after winning the 99 World Cup. Yeah. I remember flying cross country. We were greeted here as champions. Um, we had so much fun making the rounds on all the talk shows, the late night shows. I remember doing Letterman. Um, yeah. For some of you who don't know who he is, you can YouTube him. At least that's what my kids tell me. If I don't know how to do something, mom, just Google or YouTube it. I'm like, great. We were treated to uh, some amazing restaurants and um, some nightclubs, which when I think about going out to a club at my age, I end up breaking out in a cold sweat. Uh, my kids have told me that none of my dance moves still apply to today, but everything comes back. I see neons coming back. I see parachute pants are coming back. So there's hope. Um, fast forward 20 years, and to what this current US Women's National Team were able to accomplish with their historic World Cup. Heck yeah. Uh, my family and I, we were able to go over to France and, and watch the, the semis and the finals in person. And it was so wonderful, um, you know, walking the concourse and having kids run up to you and say, can I take a picture? And I'm like, absolutely. You know, my mom watched you play. <laughs> and I was like, bug off, kid. <laughs> but, to, but just to see how far the sport has grown, while we were vacationing in Europe, I was able to turn on the TV in Rome and watch the Champions Parade here in New York City for this current team. I also saw that every player was given a key to the city. And this explains why my key no longer works. As uh, with a new champion, they decide to change the lock. So uh, thank you for that. But um, to be honest, today, I want to say thank you for your gracious gift to my foundation. The Mia Hamm Foundation started in 1999. My family and I began trying to raise funds and find a donor for my brother after we found out that in order to live, he had to have a bone marrow transplant. He was suffering from a, from a bone marrow failure disease called myelodysplasia. It was a personal fight. It was one that was really difficult to me, for me because I was watching my hero struggle. But I was inspired by the generosity and the kindness of complete strangers. The only choice for me was to pay it forward and to help others who are facing similar circumstances. The Mia Hamm Foundation continues to give grants to different groups who raise awareness of the importance of getting people registered in the National Bone Marrow Registry. And it also helps support and empower girls through sports. We are so proud of all the work we do at the Mia Hamm Foundation, but none more than knowing that we have saved lives from our bone marrow drives. I believe, as of now, we, we have over a handful of matches that have happened because of drives at our events. And I don't know if you know how difficult that is, um, but every day we are thankful for the opportunity. I am incredibly grateful, as I said, for your generosity. I thank you again. Enjoy your evening. 
safe travels, happy holidays, um, and try the veal. Thank you.